Pandemics are no stranger to humanity as there have been many throughout history and some have been a lot worse than others. Hey guys, welcome back to FTV Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton and I know everything looks so different. It's just because like here in Toronto, Canada, the government, they announced that all non-essential businesses need to close for at least the next 14 days. So we can't go to the office to film these videos on the green screen. So I'll be filming from home. Now we did pre-record some of these videos. So you'll be seeing a mixture of videos that were filmed at the studio and some filmed at home but again right now everything from now on is going to be filmed here at home so thank you guys for your support and understanding but in any case let's just jump into this episode starting at number 10 we have the six cholera plague pandemic that was from the years 1910 and 1911 that had a death toll of over 800,000. Now the sixth cholera plague originated in India where over 800,000 people lost their lives before it spread to the Middle East, North Africa, Eastern Europe, and even Russia. And this sixth cholera pandemic was also the source of the last American outbreak of cholera back in the year 1910 to 1911. By the year 1923, cholera cases had been cut down drastically, although it was still a constant thing over in India. Number nine brings us to the flu pandemic of the year 1968 with a death toll of one million. There was a category two flu pandemic, sometimes referred to as the Hong Kong flu. This 1968 flu pandemic was caused by the H3N2 strain of the influenza A virus. Now from the first reported case on July 13th, 1968 over in Hong Kong, within three months, this thing spread to the Philippines, India, Australia, Europe, and even the United States. Now, while the 1968 pandemic had a low mortality rate at about 0.5%, it still resulted in 500,000 residents of Hong Kong losing their lives, which was approximately 15% of the entire population of Hong Kong at that time. Now, next up, we have the flu pandemic of the year 1889 to 1890 with a death toll of 1 million. So originally the Asiatic flu or the Russian flu as it was called was thought to be an outbreak of the influenza A virus subtype H2N2. But recent discoveries showed that it was actually the influenza A virus subtype H3N8. Now the first cases were observed in May 1889 in three separate distant locations in Bukhara in Central Asia, Athabasca in Canada and also over in Greenland. Now, the rapid population growth of the 19th century, specifically in the urban areas, really just helped to spread the flu. And before long, the outbreak had spread across the globe, becoming a pandemic. Number seven, we have the third cholera pandemic between the years 1852 and 1860. Their death toll was also one million. Considered to be the most deadly of the seven cholera pandemics, like the first and second pandemics, the third cholera pandemic originated over in India and it spread through Asia, Europe, North America, and Africa. Now there's a British physician by the name of Jon Snow, no relation to the character from Game of Thrones, but he tracked down cases of cholera and he eventually succeeded in discovering that, hey, contaminated water was actually the means of how this was being transmitted. The Asian flu comes in next at number six between the years 1956 to 1958. Its death toll was two million. Now the Asian flu was a pandemic outbreak of the influenza A, H2N2 subtype that originated in China. Now the Asian flu traveled from China to Singapore and the United States and estimates for the loss of life total of the Asian flu by the World Health Organization is approximately 2 million and 69,800 of those were in the US. Halfway in at number five, we have the Antonine Plague at 165 AD with a death toll of five Million. Also known as the Plague of Galen, the Antonine Plague was a pandemic that affected Asia Minor, Egypt, Greece, and Italy, and it's thought to have been either smallpox or the measles, but the true cause of this is actually still unknown. They have no idea what this was. So this unknown disease was brought back to Rome by soldiers returning from Mesopotamia around 165 AD unknowingly, and they had spread this disease across the land 
which decimated the Roman army. The plague of Justinian comes in at number four between the years 541 and 542. It had a death toll of 25 million. Now this is said to possibly have eliminated half of the population of Europe at the time. And the plague of Justinian was an outbreak of the bubonic plague. And the bubonic plague is caused by a bacterium named Yersinia pestis. And this afflicted the Byzantine empire as well as parts of the Mediterranean. And at its height, 5,000 people per day were losing their lives. Now, number three, we have the flu pandemic. We've seen the flu on this list several times. This is on the year 1918 and had an estimated 20 million to 50 million people that lost their lives. So between the years 1918 and 1920, there's a destructive outbreak of the influenza that went global. Of the half a million people infected in the year 1918, the mortality rate was at 10% and it rose to 20%. What separated the 1918 flu pandemic from other influenza outbreaks though was that the victims themselves were different. It had started taking the lives of healthy young adults while leaving children and those with weaker immune systems completely fine. They weren't the ones passing away. HIV AIDS comes in at number two with a death toll of 36 million. And I'm more so speaking of its peak in the year 2005 to 2012. Now it was first identified in the Democratic Republic of Congo back in the year 1976. And currently there are between 31 and 35 million people living with AIDS right now. And the vast majority of those live in Sub-Saharan Africa where about 5% of the population is infected. And that's roughly 21 million people. Now as awareness of course has grown a lot and new treatments have come out. So now HIV is a lot more manageable than it used to be and many of those infected still go on to live very productive and prosperous lives. And finally at number one we have the Black Death between the years 1346 and 1353. The death total was between 75 million and 200 million. So between these years of 1346 to 1353 there was an outbreak of this plague that completely ravaged Europe, Africa, and Asia. It was believed to be originated over in Asia though and the plague most likely jumped continents through the fleas that were living on rats that were often found on merchant ships. So of course, ports were major urban centers at the time. So the bacterium among the rats and the fleas, they spread like wild Fire. All right guys, so that's it for this episode. That was a look at 10 of the worst viruses and disease outbreaks in the entire world. I mean, obviously the pandemic that we're dealing with now is horrible, but I could not even imagine living through some of these pandemics in this episode. But anyways, I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments down below. And thank you guys so much for tuning into FTD Facts. My social media links are below in the video description section. And I'll leave you with a recommended episode. It's gonna be at the end screen. So enjoy that one. And I'll see you in the next video from home. Self-isolation.